Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to make some homemade hamburger buns. And I got this recipe off the King Author Flour website. And I'm going to be using bread flour, but you can use all-purpose flour. So to get started, we're going to add all of our ingredients to our mixer. You can use your stand mixer, a hand mixer, or you can just use your hands and mix it all together. We're going to need around three and a half cups of all-purpose flour or bread flour. And I'm not too precise on measuring. I just kind of take my flour, loosen it up, and then uh, level it off that way. Two, three, and a half. And everything's at room temperature. My eggs at room temperature, my butter's at room temperature, and my water, you want to use lukewarm water. You don't want it too hot, you don't want it too cold. Just like lukewarm, you can stick your finger in it. I'm using my pinky finger. And it's just a touch, touch warm. I have one fourth cup of white sugar. I'm going to use one and one fourth teaspoon of salt. It's one teaspoon and then a fourth. I've got two tablespoons of softened butter. One egg that's been sitting out on my counter too. I'm going to use a tablespoon of instant yeast. If you're using the yeast that's not instant, you want to proof it. Put it in your warm water with a little bit of sugar and proof it. And then we have one cup of lukewarm water. I'm going to give this just a little bit of mix. And then we're going to mix this all together. And I'm going to start it out on low. Now that it's all mixed, I'm going to switch over to my dough hook. And this is supposed to be a soft dough. And if we've added, if you've added too much flour, go ahead, you can add just a drop or two of water. And my hands are very clean. Before I started, I scrubbed them real good and scrubbed up under my nails. So I'm going to let this mix till it all comes together. And then we'll finish kneading it by hand. This take a couple of minutes. All right, I've let this knead for a few minutes. And everything came away from the sides. So on my clean surface, I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of flour. We don't want too much. And actually, I have plastic wrap under here. Now we're going to finish bringing this together by hand. And remember, this dough is supposed to be soft. So unless it's just ultra super sticky and you can't get it to do nothing, just add a little bit of flour to it. See, that's my bowl. And I'm going to just flour my hands a little bit. And we're going to finish bringing it together. What I do is I push it back, lift it and bring it forward, push it, turn it, push it, lift it, bring it back, push it, and turn it. Keep doing it that way. I love, ooh, there looks like a little bit of yeast that didn't get mixed in good. I love making bread, kneading and playing with the dough, it's fun. I wouldn't say I'm that great at it yet, but I like doing it. Okay, this has come together nicely. See, when I press on it, it bounces back. So that took just a few minutes. I needed it just a few minutes with a dough hook. About three or four minutes, and then brought it together by hand. And now in my large bowl, I'm gonna, sp oops, I'm gonna spray it with some non-stick, with some non-stick spray. Put my dough in here, swirl it around, 
turn it over, swirl it around. And then I'm gonna cover it with a piece of plastic wrap or a towel. And I'm gonna put it in a warm, draft-free place. And we're gonna let this double one to two hours or until it's uh, doubled in size. And you really wanna make sure that your dough has doubled in size. Look at how beautiful that my dough has risen. It, mine took an hour and a half, but remember it could take up to two hours or it could take just an hour. And my hands are very clean. I just scrubbed them real good with some soap. And we're gonna deflate it. And now on a clean surface, which I have my lined with um, plastic wrap, and you shouldn't need much flour because it shouldn't be that sticky. I'm just going to pat my dough out. Now, you can just cut your dough into what size buns that you want and just roll it in a ball, flatten it back out to about the size of the hamburger uh, bun that you want. But I'm going to cut mine. I have these large cookie cutters. I'm just going to pat mine out. You can make any size buns that you want. Large buns or even the little slider buns whatever size and I'm going to use I have these two big ones but I think I'm going to use the um, 3 and 7 16th of an inch I actually found these at the Goodwill Now in my pan, I placed a piece of parchment paper and lightly uh, sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. Or if you don't have parchment paper, just spray it with some nonstick spray. I'm just going to lay it in my pan. Okay, I have a little bit of scrap dough left. So I'm just going to gather it back up, work it a little bit, and cut out a couple of more. Here's my pan. Yes, they're close together, but they will rise. So again, I'm going to lightly spray the tops of them with some nonstick cooking spray. Cover it with some uh, plastic wrap. And we're going to let these rise for about another hour or until they're puffy. And then we'll be back to bake them. Uh, look how beautifully they've risen. So I've got my oven preheating to 375 degrees. And you want to bake them until they're, you know, golden brown and done. And it depends on the size that you make them. You know, it could take 8 minutes, could take 15. So just keep a watch on them. And when you're removing your plastic wrap, that's the reason why we sprayed the top. So I'm going to be very careful because, like I say, you don't want to deflate them. But I'll bring you back when these get done and then we will brush them with melted butter. So I just took my hamburger buns out of the oven. I forgot to time them, but you can see how brown they are and look how big these got. They're still going to be good. So I just took a little bit of butter, melted it. We're just going to brush the tops with them. We're having roast beef and gravy uh, burgers, but I always make mashed potatoes to go with mine because this is how I like it. So let's check out our buns. Let's see how they did. I probably could have made them a little bit thicker, but it'll be all right. It was my first time. Very soft on the inside. So now I'm going to try a bite. Very good. Has a good flavor and everything. Now, I think that this size was too thick. This size looks about the right thickness. But I'll be eating mine as just a side bread. So when my nephews get here, I'll have them try it. 
and thanks for watching and thanks for coming along with me for my first time at making them and I hope you enjoy okay, there's my nephew's plate he's eating it on the hamburger bun so we'll get him taking a bite all right, now he's gonna take a bite. <laughs> we'll narrate it as he goes. Mm. How is it? That's really good. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Glad you like it. So do you like the homemade buns better than store-bought? <laughs> oh yeah, it tastes like um. I don't want to compare it to Golden Corral, but it's like oh, yeah. the fresh buns you get at Golden Corral. Yeah, new napkin. Yes, please. Alrighty, y'all. Well, he likes it. Hey, Mikey. He likes it. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy. Bye-bye. Okay, the only thing in cricket I ever cooked that, like, I don't know, it didn't taste bad, but it just, <laughs> it, was, it was, uh, she showed us this picture of what she was going to make. It was a steak stir-fry. It was like chopped up strips of steak with potatoes and stuff. I forget what else. But anyway, it just looked really good. But I think the potatoes got overcooked or something. So it was almost like steak strips mixed up with mashed potatoes. <laughs> almost. <laughs> and so me and, Alex, me and Alex and Nikki are sitting over here and we're like, Oh, this tastes pretty good. <laughs> but it, it didn't taste bad. It was just like she took these mashed potatoes and just mixed steak to them. Yeah. With them. It was the, like the potatoes didn't hold their form. They were just like they just mashed. Yeah. But anyway, that's the only. And he thing. really didn't have his finger up his <laughs> nose. He was just acting like it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is a superhero, by the way. This is not a devil thing. Alrighty then. <laughs> I won't lose sleep over that now. <laughs> I don't know what you're... <laughs>